Hello and welcome back. You have probably searched for Google Sheets in either YouTube or Google which has brought you here to this video. And I believe that you are at the right place. In this video you are going to learn how to create dashboards, charts, pivot tables using Google Sheets. I believe that if you stick till the end of the video, most of your questions about Google Sheets and its functions will be responded to. The topics that we are going to cover in this video will be doing some basic functions like text, count unique ifs and other functions in Google Sheets besides that we will mainly focus on creating pivot tables and slicers and last but not least we will focus on creating charts and formatting them in Google Sheets. So in here as you can see if I pick any of the months or maybe any of the years, all my data will be filtered out for that specific variable. For example, if we go and pick only for example year 2017, as you can see everything in here will be updated for 2017. We can remove this filter, for example let's select all the years in here, if we go and select a specific month, for example only August in each of the years that we have the data for, I'll click OK. As you can see everything will be updated, the map and everything. And I will leave the link to this data that I have in here out of which we, I have created the dynamic dashboard, I will leave the link to that in the description of this video. So let's get started and let me take you through the step by step process of creating such dashboards using Google Sheets. In here as you can see I have the row ID, order ID, order date, ship date, customer ID and a lot of other information in this data set. As I mentioned earlier I will leave the link to this data set in the description of my video. So in here first of all as you saw in this dashboard here we have the month names in this way and besides that we have the years shown separately like this. While in here, as you can see, we have the dates only, the order dates. The first thing that we are going to do is to convert the dates in here to months and years in separate columns. And next, we will go to creating pivot tables. In order to create the months and years, I will insert two columns in here. Column number one will be the month and column number two in here will be the year. For this purpose I will write, I will use the text function, I will write down equal sign, then write down text, open parenthesis, select the cell that you want to convert to text, comma, and double quotes, in double quotes I will write down M, M, M. As you can see if I write down two M's the number of the month will be shown in here, if I write down three M's the short form of the month will be shown. And if I write down 4 M's, as you can see, the full month name will be shown in here. I think the short form of the month will be OK. Close the double quotes and close the parentheses, press enter and apply it to all the cells below. As you can see, we have the month names in here. We will do the same thing for the year. Text function, open parentheses, select the cell and then in double quotes I'll write down Y in double quotes I'll write down Y three times. That will be more than enough and press enter and we'll apply it to all the cells. They will be automatically filled until the last row. Now once this is done the next thing will be to create our pivot tables. In order to create a pivot table go to insert from here we will select pivot table. So the Google Sheet will ask you whether we want to create our pivot table into an existing sheet or a new sheet. We will leave it as new sheet besides that the data range is shown in here from A1 up to our last cell in this data set. So since everything looks ok, I'll create the pivot table. For the pivot table, the information for the pivot table number one that I want to have is it is the months I will bring it under the rows and in addition to that I will have the total amount of sales. So I will bring the sales under values. 
So for each month, as you can see in here, the total amount of sales will be shown in here. And one more thing that I need to add in here is the year. So since we added the year, I will add the year under the rows as well. In order to have them in the right order, I'll take the year to the top here and month will come to the bottom. As you can see, in each of the years, we have a total. In case you don't want to see these totals, make sure to uncheck these parts. The totals for the years and the months will be removed and will not be shown. In the next step, I'm going to insert a chart for this pivot table. I'll go to insert from here, select chart. The first one will be a column chart. I will go and pick a column chart from here. And in this column chart, as you can see, we'll do the formatting later on. And the uh, next thing is to add another pivot table for which we created the map, which is the state and the amount of cells. Again, I'll come here to our data sheet in here. I will again go and insert a pivot table in this pivot table, I'll select the existing sheet, since we have a sheet in here, click this part, go to the sheet in where you created your first pivot table, select a cell in there, and make sure that the cells do not overlap on each other. And then click OK. The pivot table for our... So now what we are going to do is to take the state name and we'll put it under the rows, and the total amount of cells should come under the values in here. So we have the sum of cells per state. Next, I'm going to remove the totals in here since we don't want to show the totals as well, only per state. And next thing is to have the product quantity by category. Since we have furniture, uh, electronics and everything, so the main thing that in there is to, sh to see what quantity of each item or each category is sold. For that purpose, what we will do is, again, insert another pivot table. And in this pivot table, what we will do is, we will insert it into an existing sheet. Uh, and in here, we will select cell in our sheet and click OK. For this pivot table, what we will select is under the rows, we will have the category, as you can see in here, we have the category under the rows, and then the quantity under the values. So, uh, from this one, we will also remove the totals. So, three of our pivot tables are ready. Next thing that we had was the profit per year. So, for that purpose, again, we were going to insert another pivot table, go to insert. From here, we were going to create another pivot table into an existing sheet, and we will select a cell in our existing sheet. And for that one, we will create our pivot table. In this pivot table, what we want to see is we have the year under the rows, and then we have the profit. Let's search in here. Uh, the profit will come under the values. Remove the totals. We don't want to see the totals in here. Everything seems to be okay. So the next thing is to insert charts for all of these. Since we have this chart number one, let's do its formatting. First of all, right click the chart and go to chart style in order to be able to edit the chart. And from here, in the chart title, I will have cells versus month. I will change it to cells by month. And the text font size should be 16. And next thing, you can change the font that you're going to use. I'll pick this one, make the color black, and remove the names of both Y and X axis we cannot remove this axis. So for this one, what I will do is I'll remove the text color to white. So as you can see, the color, the text won't be visible. And last thing will be to remove these grid lines from here. Click the grid lines and 
let's uncheck the major grid lines from here and you can do other formatting for example you can change the color of your columns for example let's pick any color that you would like to see in here and in addition to that you can add the data labels we won't add the data labels for this specific example but you, if you had a smaller data set where you can show and visualize your data in more effective manner you can add the data labels but for this specific example you will skip it since it will show it very messy so the chart number one is ready I will take it to the right here and this chart will be ready chart number two will be to have a map chart for our sum of cells by by each state for that purpose go to insert select chart and the chart for the usual chart will be inserted in here but the type of the chart that we want to see is a map chart for that chart i will select the geo chart so as you can see the chart is inserted in here what i will do is do a little bit of formatting for example thing number one will be to select the country only we want to see the united states so the chart for only united states will be shown in here and so this chart number one is added here, let's make it a bit smaller and take it to the left and maybe let's go to customize and in the chart style let's remove its borders select none and let's take our chart number two in here to the right and let's put it in here make it a bit smaller and this much will be okay we can do further formatting for example the minimum color and the maximum color uh, you can click the chart from here you will go to edit the chart for example you want to change the colors under the geo as you can see the minimum color is red right now the maximum is green no value is white and the mid colors are shown in this grayish color for this one we will remove the borders as well remove the borders none and next two charts that we are going to insert is an area chart for sum of profit per year and this one i'll go to insert and go to chart the type of chart that i'm going to pick under setup i will select the area chart in here for this one again we will do the same thing first of all let's change the title and make it profit by year not versus year and make it 16 and in addition to that the color should be black and this should be turned into white and remove the access names and remove the major grid, li grid lines from here and uh, so everything seems to be perfect you can change the colors as i did for the previous ones so make this a little bit smaller and take it to your dashboard the reason that i'm creating the dashboard and everything and pivot tables in the same sheet is that the slicers that i'm going to filter my data through them won't work if my uh, chart or anything is moved to another sheet so that's why i'm keeping everything in a single sheet in order for me to be easy to filter them out uh, let's move this to down here and maybe let's make it a little bit uh, smaller from here the width should be the same and in addition to that I will make the map chart a little bit bigger maybe and for this one let's remove its borders uh, from customized chart style the border color should be none and last but not least is to insert the chart for the categories of our products for this one we will insert a donut chart i'll go to chart and as you can see a pie chart is inserted in here but i prefer more the donut chart so i'll select the donut chart i'll remove the labels from here but you can add the labels anytime you want it again it is a quantity sold by product so let's make the size 16 
and maybe the color of the title white and if you wished you can change these colors for example make them less aggressive and a little bit transparent for example for the blue let's select this one and for the yellow the let's select a little bit one with more transparency and let's in addition to that let's go and edit the chart from the customized chart style let's remove the chart border and since everything seems to be okay and the way we want them to be the last step would be to add slicers to our dashboard and filter the data based on them so as the last step of our today's video what we are going to do is to add slicers so basically you will have three slicers one for month one for year and one for state the slicer number one go to data from here add a slicer and for this one we will select the month let's resize this a little bit so in order for this to fit in our dashboard and the slicer number two should be for states uh, go to insert and let's uh, sorry go to data from here go to add a slicer for this one we should have the state name and you can change the colors the front of your slicers as well if you wish to uh, we will do it only on one slicer in here but you can do the same for the others as well from here go to edit slicer in the customize for example the background color should be blue and the font for example it should be this font and maybe the color of the font should be a yellow color or whatever you like and the last slicer will be for the year so again click any of the pivot charts go to insert from here we will sorry go to data from here we will select add a slicer the slicer should be for year and resize this and take it to your dashboard on the right here so once we take our slicer to here now the last step would be to test it whether it works or not for example if we go and clear this only select year 2016 and click ok from here as you can see all the data is updated so this is basically how you can create charts and dashboards in google sheets i hope you have found the content of the video helpful if you did so consider subscribing to this youtube channel and following us on instagram and linkedin till next video happy managing and happy analysis